here's a really good question, and it, and because I was just looking up some Haku stuff the other day. Do you think Brock Lesnar could take Haku in his prime? He, Haku was a big son of a bitch. Possibly. Yeah? Possibly. You know. Car, that, Brock, ha, that Haku ha, could take Brock? You know, that's a, I don't know. You know, I really don't know. I've seen Haku in action. Yes. Bismarck, North Dakota. He actually got in a fight with somebody and you witnessed it. If that's what you want to call it. Okay. That could be other definitions. Let me tell you what happened. Okay. Bismarck, North Dakota. Okay, I'm, I can't remember. I, I, I'm by myself, I think. I, I wasn't riding with anyone. Had never been to this town before. And it's a town of a lot of American Indians. Native American, actually. You know? So, this was the first time I had ever been around so many Native Americans, which I thought was kind of cool. So, a lot of the guys, we, we sh the show is not till the next day. It's a house show. Then again, it might have been a nitro. I can't remember now. I've been hit on the head with a lot of chairs, so, hey, forgive me for that. Okay? It's a big bar, big cowboy club right across the parking lot from the hotel that we're staying in, that I'm staying in. I don't know who else is staying there. I see uh, Virgil. I see him there. Uh -huh. And from a bunch of the other guys. So I'm not doing the tag thing with Harlem. So my brother wasn't there. I might have been doing the NWO thing. I can't remember. It might have been one of them shows where me and Brett was tagging. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I put my clothes on. I go over to this bar, big, big, giant cowboy bar. I walk in. I look across the club way over there. I see a bunch of the boys by the bar. Oh, there go the boys over there. As I'm walking over there, I see this scrum. <laughs> this scrum <laughs> breaks out. <laughs> You know, <laughs> all kind of shit is flying, people flying, and this, that, and the other. Boom. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I start to walk much faster because it's right over there where all the boys are. Uh -huh. And this is why I don't hang out with other professional wrestlers. Now, you see what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I see. Okay. I get over there, and, and, and when I'm on the road with these type of guys, I'm like the guy. Mm -hmm. If you see what I'm saying, I'm yeah. like the guy that had to – kind of look over all these fucking knuckleheads. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I get closer. I go through a few people. Haku has a guy in that fucking <laughs> tongue and death lock or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> this fucking guy is about to shit on He's himself. He's using it in a real fight. Yes, this fucking guy Fantastic. is about to piss shit <laughs> And vomit all at the same <laughs> fucking time with goddamn b shit coming out of his ears. His eyes is rolled back in his fucking head. This, I'm like, what the fuck? is some cowboy. Some cowboy. I don't know if he was a Native American or a white guy. He wasn't a black guy. I know that because I don't know how many is in this fucking town. And the people are screaming. Women are screaming. I, r <laughs> I run up and I fucking grab Haku from behind. You know, I grab him. Uh -huh. The big guy. I grab him and I hit his arm and I'm like, let him go, brother. Let him go. I get his fucking arm off him and I run him out the fucking club. I run him out the club. I find my fucking rental car that was a goddamn fucking Prius or some shit that I was driving. A little bitty fucking car. They don't even have really big cars in towns like that. Mm -hmm. I throw his ass into the fucking passenger side. I get in the fucking driver's side and I haul ass to the fucking hotel. And I park in the fucking parking lot. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? But see, the thing about Haku, if he drinks, he gets crazy. Mm. And I don't know what kind of rock gut they had in this fucking town. <laughs> you know. But, fuck, but that fucking guy had went crazy. I don't know <laughs> what this fucking guy did because I never had a chance to talk with anybody about it. Uh -huh. I didn't want him to go to jail. Right. You know. So by the fact that. Like I've told you before, I came up working in clubs. Mm -hmm. That club instinct just took over. Yeah. So we sit in the fucking car and just talked for about 30 minutes for him to fucking cool down and his high come down a little bit, bro. And I'm like, actually, the reason I was really sitting there, I wanted to see where the police car, you can see the club from where we sit. I want to see where the police car is going to drive up and 
you know, come looking for him, but yeah. they never did. Yeah. So he was like, man, okay, brother, I'm okay, man. I think I'm okay. And I said, hey, man, you want me to go to your room with you? He said, no, man. I said, I said, well, I'm going to go in the lobby with you. And he's like, okay. So we walked into the lobby, and uh, I seen him get on the elevator. Then I went back to my car, and I went back over to the fucking club. And I'm asking these fucking dickheads, what the fuck is going on over here, man? Mm -hmm. Y'all know how the fucking guy is when he starts to drink. But these fucking dickheads, some of the – I ain't going to even get into so, that. But he was, he was with other workers. He was yeah. with other wrestlers, and they were egging him on. I don't know. Okay, all right. I don't all know right, okay. for fucking sure. Okay. But when you see somebody fucking with somebody, tell the motherfucker, I don't know how many situations I've been in for some fucking dickhead in the club. They get fucking alcohol in them, and they think they're tough. Mm -hmm. Just de-escalate it. Liquid courage. Yes, de-escalated. Tell the guy, hey, man, we don't want no trouble, blah. Let me buy you a beer. That's what I would do. Hey, man, let me buy you a beer, bro. We don't want blah, 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 you know, because he don't know what the fuck he's saying. It's alcohol. Mm -hmm. So, true story. If anybody ever seen the tongue and death grip <laughs> on television, <laughs> it's real. It's fucking real. Um, I want to let everybody know very quickly, uh, there are several different ways that you can see and listen to this show because we're getting some questions on stuff we've already covered, and that's great. Uh, we love the fact that everyone's chiming in. We've got many more great questions to get to. How many bones have you broken? <laughs> but um, if you check us out on iTunes, Stand Up for Greatness for Stevie Ray, make sure you subscribe on iTunes. If you've already subscribed and you like that show, give us a five-star review and a rating. It helps us move up the podcast charts so we can start lapping the inferior wrestling podcasts that are, of course, uh, still ahead of us, but only temporarily. Um, also, if you want to see this show every week in its entirety, uncut and uncensored, you can go to TitleMatchWrestlingNetwork.com. There's a 14-day free trial, no obligation, cancel any time, but I know you're not going to because there's over six hundred hours of original professional wrestling content in addition to this show at titlematchwrestlingnetwork.com and finally if you want to see more live Q&As like this on the YouTube channel hit the subscribe button